Hello everyone, Farmsome Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Middleburg. We are just about finished on the hayfield here, as you can see. A couple of passes of the headland. I think I said it in the last episode as well. I'm going to run the um, windrower down here and combine these rather small rows into uh, bigger rows. That'll help when we bale this. And I'm delighted to say that our little mayor forage box has been repaired. We've got that wheel bolted back on, and it is just tucked under the trees here. There we go. We jacked it up and just uh, linked it all back together. No issues there. So what we've got to do, it is 6.19 in the evening. I would like to get this field cleared tonight and get that job done, tick in the box for that. And then what we've got to do tomorrow, we've got a field of corn there that is ripe, and I'm very concerned that we're going to... Um, end up with withered corn if we don't move quickly so we'll get the combine prepped and ready to do that first thing in the morning and the other job we can do tomorrow bale the hayfield so without further ado we're just going to jump straight in and try and get this finished there we go john deere rolling its way towards us already i'm glad i've got this back in now because it basically it's a little bit more space in it so we don't have to make as many trips backwards to the yard because it is a long way down there. Right, that's another trailer load done. I think one more load will get this because that's such a bigger trailer. So we're gonna let him run down and get that unloaded. And while we're waiting for him to come back, we'll go and grab the little Alice. We'll run that back to the yard as well. And uh, we'll get organized for tomorrow. So, like I said in the other episode, I definitely think there's a real requirement for a shed up here. I mean, that's the mower there. We've got this little thing. We've got um, the forage harvester over there. I think, to be honest, it makes way more sense to leave all this stuff up here. If this is going to be our grassland for the, for the time being, why would you not put a shed up here? So I'm actually going to drop this here, because I don't think we'll need it anywhere else. And we will go... And we will get the uh, windrow. We'll bring that up as well. Now, while I'm heading down here, I must say a big thank you to everybody who left stuff in the comments again. It turns out that that tedder that I bought was fine. You just had to turn it on, and I just thought it was a drag behind one like the uh, like the windrow. So, totally my bad on that one. Talk about not reading the manual. Uh, anyway, we've got what we've got now, so. Um, we will probably leave it as it is for now. But thank you all for that. And for the other people who came back and said, actually, don't worry too much about the whiskey price. It takes a full season for that to sort itself out, so it's not going to drop crazily in the next month, which has given me a bit of peace of mind, to be honest. Um, I'm not so concerned now. 
uh, and rushing to sell uh, what we've made so far so that's good as well but we will keep an eye on it we're not going to sell it without thinking about it first so um, here we go this Alice is a couple of miles an hour faster than that John Deere look we're catching it fast so while he unloads we are going to run the windrow back up there and then we're going to bring down the red trailer because we're going to need that for the corn harvest tomorrow Right, so here we are. Let's just drop this just here. There we go. Down the ground. And we'll go and get the red trailer. Gotta put some lights on here as well. It's getting dark now. And looks like the John Deere's back as well. So if we hook up the trailer here. We can then get that last load sorted. Right, back in the harvester. We are just waiting for the tractor to come over. The moon is coming up over the trees there. Looking rather nice. But yes, we should. I'm hopeful we should get all of this grass here into this last trailer load. But we shall see. Right, last, last and a half, I would say, till we're done. It's been uh, it's been fun driving this actually. This little chopper is just brilliant. So if you've not got it, go check it out. The link's in the description. Really, really good. Um, in fact, the whole the whole setup's been good. It's been. Uh, I mean, we had our problems in the last episode, but I have to say, things like course play and auto drive are running really smoothly. There we go, there's our last turn. It's quite hilly this field as well. So that old John Deere takes a little bit of time. Once it's got going, it's fine, but it takes a little bit of momentum to get kick-started. But like I said, I'm going to leave the chopper up here. I'm not going to take that back down to the farm. Um, but obviously the forage box and the John Deere will head down there anyway, because they've got a load in them. There we go, done. Let's pop this over here by the windrower. The John Deere heads off. And then we will uh, run down with the Alice and the other trailer as well. There he goes, just as we jump into the Alice. So we'll follow him down. And then we've got to just pray and hope that that... Uh, corn doesn't go withered I'm almost tempted to cut it tonight just to avoid any potential disasters maybe we will let's do some night combining or evening combining it's relatively early to be honest you know a farmer that stops at 7pm anyway so yeah let's get the floodlights on and let's get uh, combining I think what we'll do is we'll put this in the silo to start with, this corn out of here. Decide what we want to do with it, whether or not it goes for cracked corn and in, into a whiskey manufacture or something else. We shall, uh, we shall make the decision in a little bit. Right, there goes the John Deere off to the yard. We're going to just pull straight into here. And stick the trailer here with the tractor on as well I think and we'll go and get the combine we'll get that hooked up bring the corn header down and uh, we'll just jump straight into it I think right back in the combine we've got our header just here so we will roll up to that Pick this up. Hopefully the lights are good on this. I've not actually tried the, the lights on this combine. This could make things interesting. Well, I've seen better, but they'll do. Okay, here we go. Let's just drop it straight down. And 
get into it. Oh, that orange glow off the uh, off the crop is nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Well, that's the combine running really nicely, actually. A lot of dust. It's a very dry crop, but let's go and get the uh, tractor again, and we'll get uh, this unloaded. Okay, 91%. I thought we would finish that off, and do you know what? I think we've got a little bit of an issue. I think this might be too low to the ground, because this combine seems to be a bit stuck, not moving forward. So, let's just... Stop horseplay there for a second. Fire up on nearest waypoint now. It's going to pick up the headland there, isn't it? Right, let's fire up this manually. Let's get it down this first row. And he's off again and happy now. Yeah, I think there might be. I'm not sure if the head is dragging on the floor or the turns are too tight. I'm unsure, but it seems to be going okay now. So we'll grab him on the way back back top up that last nine percent in the trailer and we will um go and dump it in the silo now look at the soil look at that ph is bad the nitrogen's bad we're gonna have to some work to get a decent yield out of this for next season at the moment our yield is poor i'm sure yeah 78 percent shocking Yeah, started on that new row pretty well there. Didn't need any intervention that time, so all is good. I'm running dusty lands. Look at that. The dust is phenomenal, isn't it? So good. Right up to the silo here. Now, this was the right decision. It really was. Like I said, even if... Uh, even if it wasn't withered tomorrow, we've got enough to keep us going tomorrow, so this was a good call. And it's nice to drive in at night. I don't do it very often, so quite enjoying this. All right, nicely done. We are heading back to the field now. And we'll just keep going until we're done.
we go. Oh, it looks like we are stuck again. So what I might do is I might just drive this last little bit. We've only got a few rows left to do here. I'm going to drive this manually, I think. Just to get the job done. So there we go. Not the easiest with these poor lights. And it's struggling a little bit on the sill. I actually think we might need to replace this combine sooner rather than later. Just creaking at the seams a little bit. Our eyes used to the dark here. But uh, definitely struggling a little bit on this field. Maybe the header's too big. Maybe that's half the problem. Doesn't feel it though. But what we'll do, I reckon there's probably easily a couple of trailer loads here. He says confidently. We'll soon find out. But we'll push on and we'll see how far we get. And there we go. That was getting really hard work at the end there. I was really struggling to see where I was going, but that is a job well done. So, dump this into the trailer now. And we'll, uh, I think we'll just leave the combine in the field tonight. We'll get that sorted tomorrow. The rest of this into the silo, and we are done. Right, last chore for the evening. Let's get this tipped. And then we will see you in the morning. Well, folks, that judgment call to combine that corn last night was a stroke of genius. It is raining. It looks like it's going to be raining for a little while, but maybe dry later on, which is good because it means we can hopefully windrow that uh, hay that we've got up there and dry it out enough before we can bale it. Um, other than that, it's not the morning that we were expecting. So I think that's probably a good uh, juncture to finish this episode. And uh, we will come back next time and we will see what we can do with that hay in the field. So for now, from me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.